All right, so today I'm gonna teach you the truth, or at least my truth, of masculine and feminine energy and why it's just a bunch of BS. So stay tuned, you definitely don't wanna miss this. All right, so this is a video that I actually have been wanting to do for quite a while, just never did, but let's talk about this. So there's a lot of dating coaches, and I know, listen, my whole life I've heard everything about masculine energy, feminine energy, and there's so many people that talk about it in business coaching and definitely even in the law of assumption community, which to me, I'm like, why are we spreading more limiting beliefs? We wanna move away from as many limiting beliefs as you possibly can. So. I wanted to do my own interpretation and ex explanation as to why it's all bullshit. So let's look at this. So masculine and feminine energy is not real. It's just another twist on an explanation of, you know, trying to limit people to be a certain way, in my opinion. But we do want to understand that as a manifester, your job is to go within your mind and focus on the reality that you desire and you being in that reality. So that's where, that's what creation is. That's what quantum jumping is. However you want to term it is your prerogative, right? But you really want to look at that. It has nothing to do with masculine and feminine energy. It's really understanding you're the operant power of your reality and all you, the effort you need to do is really create it within your mind and manifest an experience into your 3D reality that will come to you. And then you act accordingly. So we don't want to chase something as a manifester. We don't have to chase anything. You don't have to chase money. You don't have to chase a job. You don't have to chase anything. You certainly can if your assumption is that me doing this doesn't change anything, that I'm still gonna get what I want. But again, that's because law of assumption trumps it all. So I really wanted to kind of break uh, through the misconceptions and just a lot of BS that's spread out there because it really keeps us stuck and limited and believing in things and really disempowering ourselves. So, but let's look at the truth also that when you are chasing something, typically when you're chasing something, you most likely are in the version of yourself that doesn't have what you want. So this is why you feel the need to chase something. See, when you understand that everything you experience in your outer world is created from within first, and you trust in the unseen, then you know that you're going to get everything you want. You know that someone will manifest in your reality giving you everything that you desire, bringing the opportunity forward to you. It's never about you having to chase in the 3D and pull something and get something or someone to you know be in your five senses reality, your physical reality. So this is where you really wanna understand what's going on with you because the most important thing as the operant power of your reality is understanding what is going on with me. Why am I chasing this? If I'm manifesting a specific person, why am I always pursuing them? Why am I always chasing them? Why am I always you know, seeking reassurance and validation from someone outside of me? If I'm manifesting money, why am I always looking to save money or looking somehow I can make more money? Why am I not just sitting back and trusting in the power of my mind and creating and focusing on the desired reality and the version of me in that desired reality, which is living in the end, which is you being in the wish fulfilled. And really looking at it from that perspective that I don't have to chase anything. So it has nothing to do with like masculine and feminine energy. It has nothing to do with any of that, it's just really understanding more that as a manifester, you don't have to go chase your manifestations. That's how powerful you are. They will show up somehow in your reality, whether you get an idea or again, whether like Neville was very clear, whether it takes one person or a million to move, they will all move to give you what you want to bring it to you. So this is the thing you wanna really be mindful of. And I've seen this many times with the thousands of people that I've worked with over fucking 10 plus years um, helping people, but also in my own life, more than I can count. <laughs> 
I'm very, you know, perceptive and understanding what's going on with me internally. Why am I doing what I'm doing? I really check in and observe my thoughts and understand where am I coming from. I can understand when I'm moving in an old self-concept versus a new one. I, in business and love, it doesn't matter. Like I'm, I have really learned to keep going within and checking who am I that wants to do this action. Because you have to understand something that your subconscious mind creates, or it, it your subconscious mind is what is dictating your actions and your behaviors and your decisions. So if your subconscious programming is, I don't have what I want, and you feel desperate and insecure and anxious and needy and fear-based, then you're going to take action because we don't like those emotions. And so as humans, we're going to come up with a way to alleviate those emotions. And usually it's, well, if the, the most logical thing is, oh, well, I feel this way because I don't have what I want. So if I go get what I want, ah, then I'll feel relieved, but that's not true. So you want to understand that you want to go within and change the programming, change your thinking, change your focus so that your feelings will follow because your feelings are not what's manifesting. It's your thoughts that are manifesting and your thoughts create your feelings and emotions. So the way you master your emotions is through mastering your thoughts. When you master your thoughts, then you understand as the opera and power of your reality, you don't have to go out there and bring anything to you. It'll show up. It'll show up. It will show up. <laughs> so I just wanted to clear that up. I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you feel like you need support, I have an amazing monthly coaching group. It's a super low price. We are gathered together every month on Zoom where we do hot seat coaching. Uh, we talk about manifesting a specific person, whatever the questions are. I answer as many as I possibly can. I can't get everyone. Um, there is a time limit. I'm in there about an hour and a half to two hours every month. I keep, I record them and then I save them so you have access to a library of past recordings so you can watch and see all the coaching happening. You also get a monthly audio training. Um, again, you can have access to the library of those as well so you have plenty of support and reinforcement to help you along this journey. We also have the Facebook group where all of that is held and then and we are in there, me and the moderators are in there answering your questions and posts and you're really getting support from each other as well. So it's really fun. You don't have to do this alone. Um, you certainly don't have to do it, but if you're feeling like you're stuck, if you're feeling like you just wanna be in a community where people have your back and they know what they're talking about, then you definitely don't wanna miss this group. So just check it out, the link is below and I will see you guys, bye.